Man, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the head hunter. Um, coming back at you one more again, man. You see the title? I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna hold you. Um, and you know, for this video, I you know I like to give proper credit. Um, so pretty much, uh, the conversation for this video, I got it from a channel called Blood on the Razor Wire. Um, he was interviewing an individual who was locked up with R. Kelly um, in the federal MCC, uh, Federal Detention Center out there in Chicago. Um, and pretty much so, you know, that in, in the interview, he was talking about how um, he saw R. Kelly as an opportunity and how he was trying to get R. Kelly to sign his rights over, you know, for the book so he could write a book, you know, something of the sort. Um, and he said that he was a gangster disciple, that he was the one that put the information out there, um, you know, to R. Kelly so that R. Kelly could feel safe in the general public. All that's just, you know, whatever. But anyway, I, again, I just want to give credit to Blood on the Razor Wire. Shout out to them, um, you know, because they gave me the idea for this topic, right? So, um, apparently, allegedly, um, R. Kelly was getting extorted while he was in federal custody um while he's locked up and you know that's a very that's a very interesting it was a very interesting topic for me because you know what a lot of artists uh as well as celebrities don't understand and especially if you get locked up and you got some money and you go to you go to the penitentiary prison you know whatever they call it um a lot of those celebrities be getting extorted whether y'all know it or not you know, as well as some of these, you know, big time dudes that really, you know, I mean, they know for getting money, but they really, really ain't built like that. You know, when they go to prison, they get extorted it, 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 in prison. It don't matter who you was in the streets. It matter what you want and what you're going to do, you know, when you went in is, is you're going to stand up and, and you know, you're going to defend with yours. So I thought this was kind of an interesting topic to address in terms of whether R. Kelly was getting extorted while he was in prison. Um, as, as well as the topic of, of R. Kelly itself, because like truth be told, right? So I'm a, I'm a R. Kelly, I, I was, you know, a R. Kelly fan growing up. R. Kelly got a lot of kids out here. You know, a lot of these kids running around today, you know, um, they pretty much came in this world as a result of they, they mother and they father listening to that 12 play, um, that bump and grind and things of that nature. Now, allegedly, um, and I mean, they could say it was proven because R. Kelly was actually convicted uh, and sentenced to serve some prison time based on allegations that he was a child pedophile. But the interesting thing about the case, right, for me, is that R. Kelly was charged with RICO. Now, if you know anything about RICO, you know RICO is a statute that they use for drug kingpins or people that's part of a criminal organization. This is what they use to get those individuals locked up. For instance, YF and Lucci right now and his gang, they're charged with RICO. He's waiting to go to trial. Young Thug and YSL, they're currently charged with RICO and they're going to trial. Um, who else was charged with RICO? Oh, the, the old block members, the old block six, they was charged with RICO and they're going to trial. So again, RICO is for individuals or gangs um, you know, that's operating as a criminal enterprise. So it always kind of struck me as funny as to why R. Kelly getting charged with a Rico. And he's a singer. He's an entertainer. Um, if you just popping in, you know, hit the like button. You know, we talking about R. Kelly. Um, you know, that's something that always, you know, stood out as, as being weird to me. It's like, why are they charging R. Kelly with a Rico? And if they saying that, you know, he was sex trafficking. Who is he sex trafficking? Because R. Kelly, as well as, you know, a lot of artists and a lot of, you know, performers, um, you know, once they popular or they get popular, they go state to state and females just be throwing their panties at them. So, 
are the feds saying or, or part of their case was was they alleging that because R. Kelly was going from state to state having sex with minors or underage females um, or that he had underage females that he was dealing with and he was taking them, you know, to other states, to his performances and things of that nature. Is that what they classify in this? Is, is um, trafficking, sex trafficking? Because when have R. Kelly ever been a sex trafficker? Um, and again, I'm not saying that, you know, I agree or I disagree with any of his actions. I'm not even saying whether I believe or I don't believe um, any of the charges or the allegations against him. But what I will say uh, is that R. Kelly didn't have to take, you know, no... Um, R. Kelly didn't have to take no sex from no female. Um, R. Kelly didn't have to deal with underage, you know, females or minors. Now, could there have been instances that he dealt with females, you know, that was between the ages of 18 and whatever, um, you know, when he was a little bit older? Yeah. But truth be told, when Jay-Z got with Beyonce, he was in his 30s. She was 18. Um, Dame Dash, when he was dealing with Aaliyah, he was 30-something and she was young. Um, who else? The singer Monica, when she was dealing with uh, the guy Dave Austin or Steve Austin, whatever his name is, you know, when she signed to him, she was like 14, 15, 16 years old, and this was a grown man. Now, again, I'm not saying this to justify um, any of those individuals' actions or behaviors, so forth and so on. Um... But to be honest and to be real, it is a very uncommon practice that, you know, black people and not only black people, um, but people tend to date, um, you know, females that are older than them. It's, it's, it's the same thing. Like, you know, there are some dudes that date females that are, are way older than them. And I think people choose who they decide to be in a relationship with or who they have relationships with or who they kick it with, you know, based on just the vibe that they have, based on the energy, energy based on their chemistry. Um, you know, you have young females out here, 18, 19, 20, you know, up to 25 that are, are super successful, have their own businesses. Um, just as well as you have some females in their 40s or 50s that they out here broke and struggling. So, I mean... You know, if if an older dude, you know, who's an entrepreneur or who about certain things and they decide to connect with somebody that's on the same page or have the same interest in them or they have some chemistry and they happen to be at a certain age, do that classify you as a pedophile um, is what I want to know. Do that classify you as somebody that should be sent to jail and crucified because the person that you be happen to be dealing with um you know, by society standards is not uh, in your age bracket. Um, so, you know, I want to know that. And I, I also want to know, what do the people think? Do the people really think and feel? Because it's been a couple of years since the trial. Do the people out there really think and feel that R. Kelly was out here uh, robbing a cradle? Um, and do you think that R. Kelly was sex trafficking? I mean, because if they were just going to charge him with, you know, having sex with underage minors or underage females, why didn't they just charge him with that? If that was the case, why didn't they just charge him with uh, having sex with minors? And bam, it would have been a slam dunk. But to charge him with Rico, it's like, that's crazy. Why do y'all think he, why do you think like... He got charged with Rico. It's not a Rico kind of case. It's not a Rico kind of situation. You know, do you think this was intentional? Like they were trying to take R. Kelly down? Because when you go back and back into um, some of R. Kelly's dealings, as well as, um, you know, some of the history of the allegations against him, there were actually parents, um, you know, who were trying to extort and squeeze R. Kelly because R. Kelly was dealing with their daughters. And it was alleged that one time that R. Kelly uh, had a house or had an apartment that had, you know, up to 10, 15 women in it. Um, you know, he had multiple women at one time. And, you know, that was that was for years. 
so again, this is not justifying. This is not saying it's right or it's wrong. But do y'all think that R. Kelly should have been charged with RICO, which is a charge that is commonly for, you know, reserved for people that are, are, are criminals and gang, gang bangers and gangsters and, and stuff like that. Um, and do y'all feel that R. Kelly getting extorted in jail, you know, in prison? Um, do you think that people trying to take advantage of him because, you know, he's not considered a quote unquote tough guy or whatever? In terms of my opinion of that, um, you know, I think with prison and, and whoever it is that you are, um, if you're a victim, you're going to be treated like a victim. If you're willing to stand up for yourself, you know, um, people going to respect you. Um, are people trying R. Kelly? You know, did people attempt to extort him? Um, is R. Kelly being extorted? The answer to that question is, I would have to say, it very well may have some truth in it. Because, again, R. Kelly is a singer. R. Kelly is an entertainer. You know, he has a lot of money. Uh, there's a lot of gangsters and gangbangers in, in prison who have a lot of time. Some of them is going to, you know, die in jail. Some of them going to spend the rest of their life in jail. Um, and, you know, the opportunity to provide protection for R. Kelly so that he could take care of them financially. Um, you know, I, I definitely think that there may be some truth and there may be some merit in that. Um, but, you know, again, what do y'all think out there? You know? What do y'all think of the situation? Do you think R. Kelly is getting extorted? Um, do you think R. Kelly is guilty of, of what he was charged for? And, you know, I hate to reiterate it, but again, I just want to put the question out there one more time, you know, before we end this video, is why was R. Kelly charged with RICO and sex trafficking as if he was bringing fee? Because sex trafficking is, is reserved for, you know, quote unquote, dudes that are pimps that bring females across state lines um, for them to sell their body for a profit. So where was R. Kelly taking females across state lines to sell their body for a profit for him to be charged with a RICO? That's not saying he wasn't sleeping with, you know, girls that wasn't in his age bracket, you know? Um, but at the end of the day, I think that there's a lot more questions that need to be answered. And I don't think everything was solved in, in terms of that what was going on with R. Kelly. So, you know, y'all get, get in the comment section. Uh, we outside, you know, it's snowing. Live in New York City. Um, you know, y'all get in the comment section and y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all let me know what y'all feel. You know, uh, is the people still rocking with R. Kelly? You know, did R. Kelly put a sour taste in their mouth? You know, um, man, just jump in the comment box and let me know your thoughts on R. Kelly and this entire situation. But until then, it's your boy Tyrone Hunter, the head hunter, signing off. Because at the end of the day, we're just trying to find out what's really good with Kells. Yeah.